Hello, thanks for watching another daily devotion here at Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm Pastor Goodroad. Our reading today comes from Psalm 34. This is the intro it for Saint Mary, Mother of our Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant, and their faces shall never be ashamed. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. There's a lot of talk here about pride and humility, boasting, things like uh, being ashamed. These are all kind of feelings that this psalm here is talking about. Brothers and sisters in Christ, here's what we should be concerned with. The Lord, God and his word. See, this psalm here talks about boasting. Usually that's kind of a bad thing. You walk up to someone else and they start boasting about whatever it is. It's probably something that they did or something that they bought. Hey, check out my new car back here. What do you think? It's pretty nice, huh? Hey, you need to come over and, and look at all this new stuff that I got. Oh, I just put in a pool. You're going to love it. Oh, it's so great. It's so awesome. Or maybe it's a new promotion at work or how much money they make. And it goes on and on and on. People boasting in all these things that are really not their own work. These are all things that God has given them. But people like to act like it was something that they did, like they put in all the work for this, that, or the other thing, and, and they should be proud of it. They should boast about all, all these things. That's not what the Bible talks about. The Bible doesn't tell us that we should boast in all the things that God has given us, all these temporal things that we can enjoy while we're here on this earth. No. God tells us that we should boast in one thing and one thing only. We should boast in the Lord. That's what our pride should be in. We should be glad. We should sing praises. We should magnify the Lord and exalt his name together. That's what we should hold the most dear. Because that's what it's about. People who boast about all these different things that they have or have done, they're showing that's what's the most important thing to them. But the most important thing to us Christians should be the Lord. Everything that he teaches us, everything that he's given us. Above all, we should boast in Christ, our Lord. We should want to tell everybody and, and brag to everybody about what Jesus has done. Jesus has sacrificed himself willingly on the cross. He has shed his blood in order to forgive and pay off our sins. Our debt has been paid off completely in Jesus Christ. That's what we should be re rejoicing over because that's what's actually going to last. All these other things, all these cars or houses or pools or whatever it is, money, that's all going to go away. It's all going to pass away. You can't bring any of that with you into heaven. Everybody's hole in the ground is the same size as some people like to say. We should boast in what is eternal. That is Christ. That is the Lord. That's the word of God, the law, the gospel, the forgiveness of sins. That's what we should hold most dear. That's what we should be just itching to tell people about. Brothers and sisters in Christ, let me tell you something. That forgiveness of sins, that death on the cross, that salvation, that was free. You're not boasting in anything that you have done. You've boast, you're boasting in what God has done for you. So here's what we do. We bless the Lord at all times. We have the Lord's praise continually be in our mouths. 
We go to church. We pray to God. We pray for our neighbor. We pray for our pastors. That's what we should be doing as Christians. Not boasting about all the things that we have, the things that we have supposedly earned, but that one thing that is most needful, that Christ has earned for us, forgiveness of sins, life, and salvation. In Jesus' name, amen.